Parashat Lech Lecha 50. After Abraham Avinu helps the five kings regain their land in the Jordan Valley, the king of Sodom comes over to Avram and offers him the spoil of war in remuneration for helping them regain their cities. Avram tells the king of Sodom that he doesn't want any. Thank you very much. Rather, everything comes from Hashem. He also adds, and I quote, Velo tomar ani et Avram. Avram didn't want to give Melech Sedom, the king of Sedom, the ability to take credit for making Avram wealthy, rather, because it's all from Hashem. After that, Avram does tell the king of Sedom, rather, you can remunerate, you can pay my friends. You can give the spoils of war to Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre. They were Avram's advisors, his close confidants, and they can take the remuneration instead. At that point, Hashem reminds and reassures Avram that he is going to have children, not just students, rather he is going to have genetic children who are going to inherit him and continue his great work. Then Hashem takes Avram outside and he tells him, Look at the sky. And count the stars. If you're able to count them. The Torah says, Ko ye zarecha. Your children are going to be as numerous as a star. Again, Hashem is promising Avram that his offspring will be numerous. Another interpretation is given that Hashem is telling Avram to come outside, leave the stars. Not just look at the stars, leave the stars. Leave your constellations. Leave your stargazing and reading. Because yes, according to the stars, Avram and Sarai are not able to have children. But I'm going to change your names. You're going to become Avraham, and your wife is going to become Sarah. Avraham and Sarah are going to have children. Mm-hmm.